Yeah, Greene County, Clark County, and Miami County had the heart as the hardest hit areas. Anywhere from four to six inches of rain fell in a band as wow. storms just trained over and over the same spots. Here's a report from a, a Ron up in Tip, and he sends us this uh, rain gauge image of almost six inches of rain there at his location. So, a, a very uh, stormy night last night with those storms that just moved over and over those same spot. And here is a shot from Andrew Smith in Fairborn. You can see the roads. Uh, again, this is a neighborhood. So, uh, you know, imagine stepping out your door and it's just water completely covering the streets and mailboxes. You can't even get to your mailbox from your house and definitely don't want to be driving in that and really not a good idea to play in that either as uh, you don't know what's in that water. You don't know if the road's damaged underneath. You don't want to cut yourself or uh, perhaps get that cut infected with some of the bacteria in the water. Just not a good idea. Flood water, stay away from him. Turn around, don't drown. You can always share your photos by doing that at uh, WDTN.com using that reported feature. Dry right now, 66 degrees. We do have some clouds around especially central and southern counties but by lunchtime we're looking at a lot of sunshine we'll be right around 70 five o'clock partly sunny and 75 and then during the evening clouds will be thinning out again down to 72 at seven and lower humidity later today we still have dew points in the low 60s so it might feel a little bit muggy as you start the day but once our front clears the area we'll get into more comfortable conditions huber heights is 63 right now 64 at the base with more than three and a half inches of rainfall there yesterday xenia 63 in spring Springfield is 65 degrees. Here's the front slowly pushing southward sort of stalled out, so it's a bit slower than previously thought. It'll clear the area this morning, though, and will be south of us with the less humid air building in for the afternoon. Satellite radar imagery does show those showers as they popped up just a few hours ago, had some thunder in Montgomery and Greene counties. Those have all worked off to the east now, so dry conditions, but clouds linger at this moment. Future track, though, keeps us dry for the 9 to noon time frame. Here we are at lunchtime with nice, quiet conditions and a good deal of sunshine. Shine. And then we head towards the drive home at 5, still looking partly to mostly sunny and dry. Overnight looks clear and cool. We're going to drop down near 50. And then tomorrow we'll start off with a lot of sunshine in the morning. It does look like we will see a few afternoon clouds develop. We'll start off mostly sunny and end up partly sunny, but remain dry. Here's the lunch hour. Things look good. 75 will be the high today, not quite as warm as yesterday. Partly sunny and pleasant with lowering humidity as the winds shift. Tonight's low is 50 with mostly clear skies. And then tomorrow, lots of sun to start, a few afternoon clouds, and near normal with a high of 73. If you're heading out boating this weekend, 76, Saturday, 80 degrees on Sunday. It looks gorgeous. And maybe if you're just heading to the pool, it uh, still looks really good. Sunday and Monday, probably the better two days, at least a little bit warmer to get out and enjoy. And in fact, on Memorial Day, we're going to be up near 84. There is a slight chance of an afternoon shower, but uh, most of the day should be dry.